I'm Vanessa with Frame Destination, and today I'm going to show you the assembly, or the final assembly, of a wooden frame. Enclosed in your package, you will find your hardware and instructions to follow. This is what it's going to look like. You have points here that will be used you can fold them up and back down to hold everything into place. But you're going to begin by folding them up to get everything out. In here you'll find your plexiglass, your mat, the way that you ordered it, and your backing foam. The acrylic comes with a removable protective layer that you can peel off and we'll remove that later. Is that, is that better? Okay. First, what you want to do is open up your hardware and see what you got. You've got wire that's cut specifically for the size of frame that you ordered. You have two bumpers, which will go at the bottom of your frame when you're completely finished. Two hinges and two screws. At this point, I just take a look at the frame and I see which way I want to orient it. Orient it for the photo. And then I poke my holes accordingly. So in this case, you always want to make your holes one third of the length of the frame. And this is 18, so you want to do six inches. So right about where six inches is, about midway into the wood. I kind of want to make a little dot. And do the same thing on the other side, right in the middle. Just like that. And that's all you have to do. You don't have to make any big holes at this point. Just to remember which way you're going to use is up. Now for the mounting. You're, for the time being, you're going to leave your plexiglass alone. You're going to only remove the protective boundary at the end of everything, right at the end of assembly. Now we're going to do the mounting. You can choose whatever type of hinging tape you like. However, in this particular video, I'm going to be using the linen hinging tape that is pressure activated. Just cut yourself two strips. They don't have to be too large. These are about one inch by one inch little squares. Once you've cut your tape, pull the adhesive off the back and then put the rough side down and the sticky side onto your photograph. Then take your mat and situate it anywhere that you would like. Usually to do it centered is the best, but whatever aspect of your photograph that you'd like to capture, that's how you can put your opening on top. And then press down for everything stick together and carefully turn it over you can see and then make sure these are just stuck down nicely then you're going to use your foam board and put that right on the back so you have a stack like this this is just one way to mount a photograph we have other techniques under mounting techniques in the resources section of our website so next, in this part you need to be pretty careful. You're going to put your acrylic on top. So what you want to do, now we're going to put the acrylic on top. Make sure that your acrylic and your matted photograph are right next to one another. And the reason we do this is so that whenever you put the acrylic on top, you have the least amount of dust that can be trapped whenever you're putting it on top. So you're going to peel off one layer first. Make sure not to touch it with your fingertips because they show up very easily on acrylic. And then grab the sides, not the panel itself. Put it down just like this. 
Now you can take off the top layer, and then again, without touching it, pull this down. Once you've gotten your acrylic laid down, you want to make sure that there aren't any dust particles inside and outside of your acrylic. So go ahead and do the outside first, because when you lift it over, it can tumble under and then stay inside of your mat. And one way to do this is to use the microfiber soft towel. It works really, really well. It doesn't scratch. You don't ever want to use Windex or any other glass cleaner product. This works really, really well. It's a plastic cleaner. It's called Brilliant Eyes, and it works really well in conjunction with the microfiber towel. You'd be surprised to see how many little pieces of dust can float under your frame. And at this point in time, you also want to get under here and look and see what is stuck and lift it up if you can. Now that everything's clean, you can put it into the frame. It's easier if you take the frame, remember where you punched your holes. I punched mine right here, so this is my up. And put it all together this way. It's easier to do it like that so you're not moving around your put together mounted picture as much because more dust can shoot under the acrylic and stick to your mat. So once you put it in, go ahead and bend down all of your tabs to secure it, points to secure it. And now you can attach your hardware. And to do so, remember where your holes were and take an awl and make the holes a little bit bigger so you can screw your screws in. You want to take this flat side down. You'll be able to see that there's a little raised hinge there. Same thing with this side. Flat side down. Make sure they're tight enough to where these don't wiggle too much. Now you take your wire, pull it straight out. Go ahead and hook it in one end. The reason that we coil the wire around at the bottom is to keep it from slipping. This doesn't weigh too much, but in cases where a photograph does weigh a lot once it's framed, it helps to have that extra tension on the wire. Come through. Now you don't want to pull this that taut. You want to move it like to right about here, so where the photograph sits on the wall. And then do the same thing here. And you'll need some wire cutters to cut off the axis. That's finished. And last, you want to put your bumpers at the bottom, here in the little corner. This saves your wall and your frame. And you're finished. Here's the front. Here's the back. After you're finished, if you need to take this anywhere, say to an art show, you can put it into one of our gallery pouches, which you can order off of our website. Go ahead and slide it in, do the Velcro, and you're ready to take it wherever you need to go.